welcome everybody on this tutorial. Um, before I'm gonna start uh, telling you what it's about, uh, you must notice I'm wearing a cap. Uh, if you saw all my previous uh, videos, you know I never wear a cap. In this occasion it's a little bit different uh, because my hair got shaved off. Um, so I didn't want you guys to be in shock right in the start of the video. But, you know, it's short and nice and cool. That's, that's what it is. Uh, it had something to do with a challenge, but I'm not going to bother you guys with that. Uh, now you're over the first shock. We can go ahead and talk about this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys today how you make a new vehicle, which looks really plastic like not, you know, there's nothing more spectacular on, on this vehicle. Uh, how are you going to make it and turn it into something beautiful and looks way more realistic? So this is the end result that I'm going to show you guys how that works. And also uh, the, uh, the last part of the video is about how I made the picture using this vehicle. Um, so let's go and uh, let's get started. This is the vehicle I'm going to use uh, in a picture and later on maybe in a diorama but for the picture I don't need it to be yellow I need it to be another color so what I'm gonna do to this vehicle is get that little screw out of there as you can see uh, I had two so I can show you the parts these are the parts that will come loose after you remove that little screw and of course over there. Uh, I don't know about the silver parts yet, but these parts are gonna go away and this is what's gonna be left. I need this to be sprayed. Uh, what I'm gonna do is there are some parts I don't want to be, you know, another color. So this black, this over here, over here, and on the other sides, I'm gonna cover. And I'm gonna cover this with a liquid mask. And I'm going to show you next how you can do that. So, like I just said, I'm going to use Vallejo's Liquid Mask 70.523. Uh, I'm going to cover the parts I do not want to have sprayed. And that's as simple as it gets. Just get a piece of paper. Make sure your Liquid Mask is stirred up should look like that. What you're gonna do is take a really small brush and get that liquid mask in here. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit better. You're just gonna cover everything up in here. And it's gonna leave like a little plastic layer which you can remove later. You just need to be a little bit careful here because it can be difficult to get out in all those small parts. But it will work if you're just being a little patient. And I can see there's also a little bit yellow in there. So we have to see in the end result if, if this is going to work the way I want to. If not, that means we're going to have to do a little bit touching up with the paint. But as you can see, just get that liquid mask on the places where you do not want your airbrusher, your airbrusher, your airbrush machine comes. So I think that will be enough. Hopefully this will do the job. And I don't want this to be painted. So give it a small layer of the liquid mask as you can see it's not difficult the only difficult part is that it's so small um, this is another part I do not want to be spray painted so just cover that up too as you can see nothing spectacular guys This is just easy enough to do. 
Well, I'm going to do the other sides and let this dry and uh, I'll be back with you. The next step is to airbrush the entire vehicle with a surface primer, German Red Brown 73605 from Vallejo. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and get a thin layer of surface primer on it. Because the vehicle was yellow, uh, I covered it, as you just could see with the surface primer, uh, it turned out orange. But the primer is on there, that's the main thing. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover it with chipping medium. Uh, because I do want to have some little rusty areas, so it's not going to be a lot. Just as you can see, a drop off chipping medium. And you're just going to... Cover your vehicle like you see me do in a lot of other uh, videos. Uh, just a small, you know, just a bit, not much. Uh, let me finish this up and I'll be back with you when it's dry. Chipping had some time to dry. What I'm gonna do next is airbrush the vehicle with uh, Vallejo Green 71.094. Uh, I have a lot of blue in uh, the picture I'm going to use this vehicle in, so I want to have something that counters that blue color a lot, you know. Uh, there's a little bit of green in that blue package, uh, you will see when you see the picture. Uh, so I thought this green would be best to use for the vehicle. So here we go, we're going to airbrush this one, green. As you can see, the layer of green is dry now. Uh, what I want to do is see if I can remove that liquid mask that we um, placed in here in the beginning of the video. Uh, it should be very easy. So uh, this is actually the first time I'm going to try this liquid mask. So let's see if, if it's really that easy. Just get something sharp. And it should be like a little plastic layer that you can get out of. And I have to say, this does look like it's working, but look at this. I'm peeling off the primer, the green layer. So... That is not like it should be. Look. That is not cool. I'm going to try the other side. Maybe I overdid it and I put a little bit too much of the liquid mask in there. I don't know. Uh, this one's a little bit more stuck in there. So let's see if I can... If we can get that out a little bit easier. No, no. This is not the way it should be turning out. And as you can see, what happens in these tiny things with the liquid mask, it, I think it just came underneath... Um, the other layers of paint, so this is the end result with the liquid mask. You peel off everything, all layers, as you can see. Um, well, and how about this? Because I know we also put some liquid mask on here. 
and this is not really coming off at all. It is a bit better than there in the middle, but this is how it's turned out. Absolutely not like I wanted to. Uh, this means I need to, um, you know, sand it down a little bit and um, try to fix everything here. And if I did that, I will be back with you. I'm not gonna get everything on video uh, repairing it. Repairing everything will be in, in another video, but not this one. As you can see, these little tiny things for the liquid mask is not a good idea. So let me get this fixed uh, and I'll be back with you. So I started to... Uh, fix everything and spray it again, sand it and everything. Uh, what I did now was just uh, sprayed everything. And after that, I painted this black. And on the other side, as you can see, and this is uh, painted silver. So this looks way better uh, than the rest. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna cover it with some water. Uh, because I also did the chipping medium on it. Um, maybe that was the problem uh, with the vehicle in the first place. That I used uh, the liquid mask and I did not remove it before I put on the chipping medium. Uh, so that could be the problem. But anyway, uh, that problem is fixed. Uh, I'm going to get this chipped and uh, see how it's going to turn out. As you can see, this is how the vehicle looks now. Just small parts of rust. On the roof, on the sides. A little bit on the front. Not too much. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weather it with these two pigments. 73.117, 73.118. from Vallejo Pigments. Uh, I'm going to do some weathering on them and uh, hopefully uh, it will turn out a little bit cooler than I expected. Uh, but with that weathering it will look, yeah, it will look fine. I'll show you the end results in a minute. After weathering, this is how the top side of the vehicle looks. Uh, I think it looks just right. Just on some small items, pieces did the rust as you can see uh, and what I'm gonna do next is I need to make this look way older than it is because this looks like plastic and if I'm gonna put it back together you're gonna have some you know that just doesn't look right so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see if I can get this really old and uh, I'll be back with you for the next step The parts that you see here are the parts of the vehicle that still needs to look very old. Uh, what I'm going to do first is cover it up with surface primer German Red Brown from Vallejo, number 73605. So everything's going to be covered up with that and uh, when that's done I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back with you for the next step. As you can see here is the vehicle ready and done for the picture. Uh, all those plastic parts look way different now. As you can see, uh, what I did is the tires and everything, I turned black. Um, for the rest, I painted it silver. I stippled light and dark rust from Vallejo. Uh, after that, I used the Vallejo pigments to do some weathering on the whole vehicle, uh, which was the Rust 73.117 and the Rust 73.120, all from Vallejo pigments. And this is the end result, which I'm going to use in my picture. So how do you think, guys? This looks way different than it did when we started out this video, doesn't it? Leave me your comments and maybe you have some other tips that you say, well, maybe you could have done this or that. Anyway, this is the vehicle and I'm really happy about it. So let's go and use it in the picture. 
this is more or less the setup I'm going to use for my picture. Uh, the scene is probably going to change a little bit while I'm making the picture because I have to see if everything comes out the way I want it. So there's the vehicle which I use in this picture. Uh, well, it's obvious where it's about. My favorite in the world lace paprika flavor. Paprika flavor. I don't even know how you guys say that in English. But anyway, you get the idea. So I'm going to get to work and I'm going to make a picture of this. Um, maybe you can see it over here. Those are staples. And I just build a little bit, you know, up there to just make it seem like they're testing all the chips. So uh, here we go. Uh, maybe there will be something more on the picture, maybe something less, maybe something to the left or the right. I don't know. It all depends how it's going to look. But I wanted to show you guys where that vehicle would come in handy. And as you can see, it's stuck over there with a little bit of... It's just a little bit of dried glue, but you know, you will not see that in the picture, obviously. So this is it. Let's go and make this picture. I wanted to show you guys um, this little uh, bag of chips because there are people that ask me questions like, did you Photoshop this or, you know, uh, did you just copy and paste it? In your pictures well no I don't the only thing I do with my Photoshop is uh, put my logo in it and uh, in a rare occasion I do Photoshop but that's just with lighting or color adjustments uh, enhancements or something but nothing of a sort this is just a tiny little bag as you can see the normal size bags are like this <clears throat> and because it had to be opened for my picture uh, I'm just gonna challenge myself to leave it but I don't think it's gonna be that long I think by the end of the video it's gonna be done and it's gonna be finished I am crazy about lace chips well let's go to the end result of the picture Well, all, I hope you really like this tutorial about that vehicle and how to make it old, uh, like you just saw in that detailed um, picture. It is a lot of difference with how you buy it and if you enhance it. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, putting your mind to it and, and just try stuff out. You know, uh, I didn't, you know, didn't learn that weathering and, and painting overnight. It takes some time. And I'm still really, really in the beginning of uh, the weathering part, uh, but I really like it. So uh, hopefully you guys will pick it up. And if you already picked it up, you know, let me know how you do it. Um, this was this tutorial and I'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Stay safe, guys. Later.